Good morning guys. Today is the 17th of November and I am shattered. <laughs> I'm so tired. I honestly got like two or three hours sleep last night. I was up editing until four and then I just couldn't sleep. I've got a massive sleeping problem right now. I don't know if it's jet lag or if it's literally just me that's got a sleeping problem but I just can't sleep. I'm getting between like two and four hours a night and it is not good. I'm someone who needs literally like 10 hours sleep or I feel horrendous so this is not making me feel great. If anyone's got any suggestions can you please like let me know. It's probably because I know I've got so much to do that I just can't sleep but anyways enough of that whinging. Today I was supposed to be going to see Zoe but that's not happening now because I've got some feedback on a video saying that I need to refilm it so I need this day to refilm it because I don't have any other days. Tomorrow I am seeing Amelia, which is exciting. I've never seen Amelia like one-on-one. -on -one. I've seen her with Este before, which was really nice. But I'm seeing Amelia and we're going for donuts and I literally cannot cancel that because I swear I've cancelled like five times. That is not cool. And we've been trying to do this for like a year now. So I've had to cancel today, which I'm really sad about. But I think I'm going to see Zoe on the 22nd now instead. So that's good. I don't think I could have made it to Brighton today anyway. I'm so shattered. But I need to get my act together and film this video just so that I've got it done. And then I've got two more videos to edit so I'm gonna get that done. I feel a little bit better today with my chest and stuff. I need to get better because I'm recording music soon. I can't sing in tune like I sound like them people who audition for X Factor who literally think they're amazing but they're absolutely shocking and no one tells them that they're really bad until they get on the show. That's what I sound like right now. I can't sing in tune because I'm like bunged up here and then my chest is as well so it's like coming from two different areas and not colliding very nicely. So I need to get rid of this for the 23rd when I start recording. So I also am going to take this day to see if they've got any doctor's appointments, like see if there's any cancellations or anything. I need to go to the doctors and if not I'm going to go to the chemist with my mum and just see what they can give me. But right now I need to get this video filmed so that is what I'm going to do. Oh guys, I wish I could just go back to sleep. <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Hello everyone, just a quick update, I've filmed one video, done something for another video and something for another video, so I've done bits for three videos now, which I'm happy about, and I just thought I would show you, Christmas has arrived. Now if you know me, you know that I'm not really the biggest Christmas fan, but I actually really like decorating for things, like I love decorating my background for Halloween, and I've, we've decorated for Christmas, mum's done this while I've been busy, so... I'm going to show you. So this is this part of my shelf. I've got a Sven bauble and I've got Elsa hanging over there. Here we have a little German man. He's from Home Sense. Then I've got my <laughs> snow globe, which is also from Home Sense. How cute is that? Then I've got a stocking, which is also from Home Sense. Then I've got this little angel. Don't know where she's from, but she's cute. Then I've got the 24 happy days until Christmas advent calendar. That is from the body shop. I've got a little Santa here and he flashes and Olaf is up there. <laughs> Look at him. Then I've got another stocking. Anna is floating here and another German man. And these lights are from Primark. And then up on this level, what's Christmassy up here? Just the lights, I think. That's it. And then down on this level, I've got my Gabby hat. It's an elf hat from when I went to see Elf the Musical. And I've got some Christmas lollies. There's these little snowman lights. But yeah, this is the shelf that gets seen when I film there. So that's the one that's been decorated really. But how cute are the little Anna and Elsa and stuff. They're from the Disney shop. And Sven. <laughs> so, good news as well. I've got a doctor's appointment at two o'clock. There was a doctor that phoned me up and um, asked what my symptoms were and stuff and now they want to see me at two o'clock and it is now like half past 12 so I'm really excited about that because hopefully I can get rid of this. I'm zooming in again, what is wrong with me? Now I've just got to do my close-ups for a video that I'm doing with Miss Sporty. Got my camera there to do them so I'm going to do them so I'll talk after. 
a little update. I just went to the doctors and I saw a really nice doctor. He says I've got a sinus infection, chest infection. He says my right lung isn't working properly and I've got inflamed eardrums. So I'm not being dramatic. Like I'm really not being dramatic. I actually am really ill. I do feel a little bit better today, but my breathing and my chest and my sinuses, they just aren't clearing. So I'm on a course of antibiotics. He's given me some ear spray and he's booked me an appointment for in a week's time because he says that my right lung might not be working properly because my infection might have like settled there or I've actually got a problem with my right lung so he wants me to go back when like the infection's hopefully gone and see if I have a problem with it but I've known that I can't breathe properly for ages I did have asthma when I was younger but recently like I'd say in like the last year well, actually, no, maybe two years. I got really bad laryngitis, which is why I didn't go to uni, because I lost my voice completely. I had really bad laryngitis, and since then, I've not been able to breathe properly when I've been singing. I've been running out of breath, even though I've been using the same techniques as I always did. So I've known that I've had a problem with my breathing for a while, so I reckon I've actually got, like, a problem with my lung, in which case, hmm, that would explain a lot. I'm like not sad about it like it explains things for me to be honest but right now I'm just going to edit a video as always I feel like that's all I ever do I'm gonna edit a video and then we're gonna watch Made in Chelsea from last night I'm a celebrity get me out of here from last night and then it's I'm a celeb again tonight so yeah we're gonna watch them question time did anybody else used to watch Tots TV because me and my mum frequently sing the Tots TV theme tune. It is pretty frequent. <laughs> it goes, I'm a tot, a sweet, a tot, dearly, tom and tiny. We're the Tots of Tots TV. One, two, three, pew. Does anyone used to remember that? Then they were like, what do you see? They were creepy little dolls. They had a donkey as well. And I always used to think, how the hell do three dolls take care of a donkey and keep it alive? <laughs> it wasn't real. <laughs> it was real in my head. I'm editing, guys, and I'm bored. I'm so bored. I've edited so many videos over the last three days that I'm now, I'm just bored, so bored. I've done three daily vlogs now, so that's three videos, an Urban Actors Hall, a New York City Hall, a Sephora Hall, I'm running out of fingers, a Sephora Hall, my Miss Sporty Makeup Look, a month kind of recap come along with me kind of video, eight videos in like the last three days, that's insane. They take so long as well. <laughs> Anyways. Less of the complaining. I got this really nice blusher and I think it's limited edition so I'm going to show you it. It's from the Steam Cl Stephen Klein, is that what it says? For NARS and it looks like this. It's got a really red blusher which would be perfect for like snow white and then it's got a highlighter and it's gorgeous. I really like that. I'm a big fan. I just wanted to mention my phone cases again because as I've said in another vlog, um, if you want to order them before Christmas, you need to order before the 20th of November to make sure that it will arrive in time because they're like pre-ordered and then we're sending the orders off to be made. So um, yeah, they need a little bit of time to be made. I'm not sure how long they'll take to ship. I wouldn't think that they would take that long, but as soon as I know, I will get back to you on that. A lot of people keep asking me on Twitter, so I'll just get back to you when I know how long they'll take. But I'm so excited to see you guys with them it's really exciting and I still want one for my phone because <laughs> this is a six uh, they just thought that I had the six phone not the six plus oh I never actually told you this is like chats with Gabby <laughs> I never actually told you no seriously I've been recording for like loads of minutes <laughs> that in America I lost my bank cards I lost all three of them so I had to cancel them all the day that I got back from America and my new cards have arrived today and I'm so excited. I'm really annoyed though because because I lost my cards, I lost my card holder and I had the best card holder ever and that was £45 and I'm really annoyed. Like I think I'm more annoyed that I've lost that than my actual cards because I really liked that and it matched my nails. So now I've got to go and buy another card holder 
So that's another 45 quid. Bloody hell. But they are made really well. It was Aspinall of London and it's made so nicely and like it just looks so classy. So I'm going to get the same one. The thing with me is that I look after things so well that I use a lot. But I tend to end up losing the things that I don't use that often. And when we were in America, I didn't use my cards. We took cash. So I ended up losing the cards. I think I left them in the hotel room like a donkey or... Someone stole them out of my bag. I don't know. I don't know what happened. When we went to see the king and I, I was rustling in my bag because I was blowing my nose so much because my sinuses were really bad then. So I was like rustling in my bag and I think when I took tissues out, it might have flung out and I might have left it in the king and I in the theatre. Not in the King and I, just a new addition to the musical, Gabby's card holder. Side note, really, really enjoyed the King and I. I wouldn't go if you're really not into, like, acting and musical theatre, because I'd say it's like, it was the hardest one to get into, but because I love that, like, era of musicals, I really enjoyed it. Mum enjoyed Finding Neverland the most, and that was really good. I really enjoyed the first half. The second half I didn't enjoy so much, because I thought they were going to go more into the Peter Pan story but they didn't they just carried it on with the like stage show and like the behind the scenes story which is fine but I didn't realize that when we booked it I thought it was gonna be more Peter Panny and especially because the finale of the first half ended with like that song if you've seen it you'll know what I mean ended with the stronger song where um the boat things come down from the ceiling i was like oh my god this is gonna be incredible like it's gonna proper be like peter pan but the second half wasn't too peter panny but i enjoyed it anyway i did enjoy the king and i a bit more though and Les Mis was good as always, but nothing can beat the cast that we saw in january i'm sorry alfie bow i do love you but Ramin Karimlu was amazing, and so was Casey Levy, and everyone in that whole cast was amazing, but the Javert was really good this time. Anyway, if you have no idea what Les Mis is, you'll just be sat there like, what? <laughs> what is she on about? I'm going to go now because I've been rambling, and I keep making myself cough because I keep talking. So, I'm going to go for now and edit some more. <laughs> Mom's proud of her handiwork. The middle shelf is so OTT. Look at the bottom shelf, how messy that looks. I've just got so much stuff on them, they're so cluttered, but the middle shelf looks good for filming anyway, and that's the one that you see. Thanks, Mom. Oh my God, look what my mum's done to my bed. <laughs> She's hung a stocking on it. She's put this pillow on and my bedding, that was from Asda, that I absolutely love. Zoe, if you're watching this, I hope you're proud of Jane. She's getting all festive this year. It's half past seven and I've just finished editing my video, which I'm really happy about. I've just sent that in and now that's done, which is amazing. Also, I just wanted to say about yesterday's vlog, thank you if you didn't take it the wrong way. I know I'm lucky to have YouTube as a job. I'm so lucky. I was just very, very stressed. Just like everybody gets stressed sometimes, whether you're at school, uni, college, work, or none of them. Everybody gets stressed sometimes. And since I'm daily vlogging, if I feel stressed in a day, I'm not going to hide it. I'm not the kind of person to be fake and, like, hide how I'm feeling. So, yeah, thank you to those of you who are lovely and want to give me a hug. I will accept your hug. Let's hug. Ow. That actually hurt my chest, the camera. They have my nails off today. I'm really annoyed. But they'll grow back. So I'm going to go now. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow when I'm seeing Amelia and Lucy and Lydia are coming to stay. So I'll see you then.